Stop escapism. There's no escape in this prison. Prism within us, full of different colours and transitions. How are we living? What motivates us? What makes our decisions? Are we really living? What is it to be human? Is it all an illusion? From what we're told to what we're sold? <sighs> Just silly little shapes to mould. Or are we loving hands to hold? I'm just waiting for the story to unfold. Because wrongs of the past, things move too fast. Life is ever changing, escaping the masses, crashes. Freedom flashes, fleets away from us. But we can hold it, we can mold it, we can be told it. If we just open our eyes, open our hearts, then we can start to not be apart. Think from the heart and not the brain, because that's what really drives us insane. That's what makes us complain, because we over overthink, making life living on the brink, the brink of a mental breakdown. This is a fucking shakedown. To bring all these stupid fakes down. Covered their face. With a frown. Like a clown. Covered in makeup. But not fun to be around. Well, I'm just here and I just drowned. Drown, drown, drown. What are you doing? What are we doing? Because we're losing if we don't take radical action and start moving. Do, do, doing. Make an impact for the better. Don't let these rainy days get wetter. We can do more. We can move from the floor up to the ceiling, through the roof, and find some meaning. All these hidden truths can be revealing. Revealing us to ourselves. Revealing us to our health, to our wealth, to the knowledge that we are all one. Yet we push each other away and stay in this haze, dazed for days. I'm amazed that people don't understand or want to seek the truth. They just want to follow. They don't care about the youth. Well, I do. And I care about the planet. I care about the environment, goddammit. I care about the people, the animals, every little creature. From the biggest beast to the smallest little ones underneath a rock or the grass. Life, it moves too fast. Feel like it's everlasting. But really it's slipping away each day. So we could wallow in depression, we could wallow in apathy, but we could create things through imagery, through imagination and symmetry and synergy if we just lend a helping hand to each other. If we just think inside our minds of a colourful place so divine, love and compassion step in line. You know... Yeah, that was a little freestyle. So, yeah, poetry flows through me and I want to inspire the world to do more, be better and be happy and believe in themselves. I believe in myself and I believe in you too. And I believe that we can take radical action and change this world into a more loving, creative, inspiring inspiring, intuitive, brilliant place that we all feel acknowledged and loved and we all have enough to give to each other and give to the animals and this earth is our home and stop ignoring what's happening right in front of us. We can all take action today. Every single thought you have, every single action you take is either helping or not helping. Like, 
that's including to yourself so like you know we need to take responsibility for what we're doing and you know make a positive impact and take direct action on making this world better because it's all our responsibility to make this planet a nice loving place so yeah thanks for watching love you guys um peace and tranquility and yeah cut off there all i'm saying is peace love light and tranquility and oneness unity freedom and everything for everyone yeah we can do this. We can make the world a better place. We can stomp out all this ignorance and apathy and hatred and pain and suffering that is so unnecessary. You know? We just need to do stuff. Every little action, every little thing we do. Um, yeah, it can be done. We just need to work together and accept each other and not hate on each other because any time you're spending hating on someone you could be spending that time and energy making the world better or greater like nobody needs more insults you know but then also if you if you feel someone's insulting you then don't always take it as an insult you can alchemize that shit and flip it around to your advantage you know you can just you know, I, I got trolled recently on YouTube and yeah, I did just delete the videos that they were saying about, but I think that's because part of me agreed with some of the things they were saying, but not really because they didn't know me to have any context to things, um, to my life. Um, but it still made me think on some things and it did get me down at the time, but then I just thought, well, I'm just going to take that as constructive feedback and see what I can do with it and it also helped me have some realizations so we must see the positive in the negative things and also believe in ourselves to know that we can make a change and we can make a difference and we can either be good and positive and be helping others and situations or we can just be causing more suffering and pain and which doesn't help us or anyone else you know Whenever I say something negative or horrible or something like that, I feel really, really bad about it afterwards. And then I just, you know, I'm trying to be a kinder, nicer, more compassionate person. And, you know, we can develop our empathy. It is doable. You can develop empathy. It's really easy to do. It's like with everything, you've got to practice it every day. You know, you practice things like a muscle and keep them strong, fit and healthy. So yeah, anyway, I've rambled on enough now. I hope you enjoy my little freestyle there. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd talk things instead of write things, and it went quite well. So yeah, love, peace, and unity, oneness. Love you all. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And yes, yeah, so let's count our blessings and be happy for all the good that is happening in the world and keep that momentum going because we can make it better every day. Yeah, so big up all everyone yeah love you peace